Hey folks, this is a brief tutorial on how to use Audacity to take a recording that you make on your iPhone or Android phone and turn it into a high quality sounding recording that you can use for a podcast or a radio show, uh, something that sounds like it was made on high-end expensive equipment. So without any further prologue, I'm just going to go straight into it. I'm going to go into File, Import Audio, and I'm going to import a recording that I made recently. And this is what it sounds like. In Clubhouse Coordinator is you've created a badges system. Could you yep. tell us about that? Absolutely. We um, we've created uh, what we're what we're calling uh, just digital badges, which is essentially. Okay, so we've got something that sounds kind of thin and reedy. Sounds like it was made on cheap mic. Uh, low volume, which means a low signal to noise ratio. There's going to be uh, any background noise is going to be more prominent as we raise the volume. So that's the first thing we're going to take care of. We're going to take care of the background noise. And what you want to do, especially when you're making a recording on a cheap mic like this, is you want to record a few seconds of absolute silence in order to get the background noise that usually comes from the circuitry within the recording device. So we've got that here. I'm going to select a few seconds of it. I'm going to click on Effect, Noise Reduction, and Get Noise prof Profile. So that's going to get a noise profile of the frequencies that we want lowered. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit Select, All, and you can also do Control A or Command A if you're using a Mac, and that will select the entire wave. Then we're going to go back to Noise Reduction, Effect, Noise Reduction. And this time we're just going to accept the defaults here and click OK. Now it's going to apply noise reduction to the entire recording. Okay, um, this is... All right, so it looks like we've taken care of our noise problem. Now we're going to zoom back out to see the whole project. And we've got this problem where it's still really low volume. So to fix that, we're going to go into effect normalize <clears throat> and it's going to raise the loudest it's going to raise the volume of the entire recording until the loudest part of the recording reaches the maximum amplitude which I've set to minus 2.5 decibels you can set it to zero decibels if you want I wouldn't recommend it I've set it lower because we're going to be pushing the limits on this all right, so we've normalized it. It's still really uneven. Let's hear what this sounds like. A badges system. Could you yep. tell us about that? Absolutely. We, um, we've created... Uh... All right, so it's sounding better, but it's still sounding kind of far away. We've got an uneven recording. Let's even out the volume on that. We're going to go to Effect, Compressor, and we're going to accept the defaults on it. Uh, the only difference being by default, Compress based on peaks is not checked. We're going to check that box and click OK. Now this will raise the volume all across the recording, so we've got a much more even volume. This red line that you see here is where the volume's clipped, where it's pushed right up to zero. You don't want a lot of that. One or two peaks like that is okay for something that isn't music. Uh, if you get a lot of it, you need to go back and fix whatever it is you did that caused it. All right, so now that it's compressed, this is what it sounds like system. Could you yep. tell us about that? Absolutely. 
We um, we've created uh, what we're what we're calling uh, just digital badges, which is essentially. All right, that's sounding a lot better. But to give it uh, that real boom that you expect out of a studio mic, what they call the false bass, we need to add one more tweak. We're going to go back into the effects. This time we're going to go to equalization, and we're going to select bass boost and we're going to click OK on that now let's hear what it sounds like is you've created a badges system could you yeah. tell us about that absolutely we um, we've created uh, what we're what we're calling uh, just digital badges which is essentially kind of like a way for all right, so now you've got something that really sounds like a professional recording. Uh, the one problem which I'm sure you heard is there is some reverb going on. I made the mistake of not being careful about the room that I selected for the interview. What you want is you don't want a room where you've got a lot of hard surfaces that reflect sound like bare, empty walls, uh, uncarpeted floors, that kind of thing. Um, that's why we've got the reverb on the recording. Unfortunately, there's no way to take that off. Um, but it's a good illustration of one of the things that you need to be aware of when you do this. If we had done this in a room which had a lot of soft furniture, carpet, on the floor, uh, curtains on the windows, things like that, things that would absorb sound, it would have sounded a lot better. But even this is a really big improvement over the original recording. So now you, if you've gone through this video, um, make your own recording, follow the steps laid out in the in this tutorial and I think you will uh, be very uh, pleased with the results. Um, have some fun, go to it.